So Qui-Gon Jinn, what do you prefer? Lightsabers? Those little puny little things? Or my magic blade? I'm Qui-Gon Jinn and I say lightsabers are a valuable asset. Uh, really? You think- Oh! I'm sorry about that, that was embarrassing. <laughs> But, uh, I am Citric the Gamer here to bring you Childhood Consoles. Yes, we're back, and I guess I can just make this a yearly thing, but, uh, now that I have more technology on my side, Wi-Fi meaning, and I have a home that's not, uh, behind, a, a, a hotel. Come on, you'd be saying the same thing if you were in my shoes, right? Ugh. But anyway, yes, figured I'd kind of show off my action figure that I never got to really talk about last time. Got him at, uh, at uh, Walgreens for 10 bucks because he was on sale. I forgot his name, I'm sorry. I, I haven't caught up with all the Kingdom Hearts stuff, but what if you tell me please do. But be nice about it because I'm way behind and I can't afford the games all the time either, so. And of course my favorite Jedi, Qui-Gon Jinn, judge me. Qui-Gon Jinn, judge me. This is my favorite, judge me. I love Jar Jar, judge me. Okay, I have had enough controversy for a minute. But I'm wearing my Avalanche jersey because why? They're playing tonight. So, go Avalanche. All right, so before we get started, I'd like to just say a generalization that I like the Wii, but I do not love it as much as I did when I was a kid. Alright? So, this little contraption is not the $200 dust collector like a lot of other people might say. There's some good times I've had on it, and there's still good times I have on it. My wife and I are playing on it together lately. We've been playing a game that's on this list, and you've probably watched my little live stream on it and my video stuff on it. No commentary on it, though, just because I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to do with my little computer rig setup. You've seen that unboxing if you went to my ga uh, my cartooning channel. Oh, well, yeah, you probably haven't. That's okay, though. But link in the description for that channel if you want to see what I'm working on currently. And, uh, shout out to Dolly Popka again, because really, honestly, I can't shout him out enough. And Jacob from Bass of Gaming, he's playing Sly Cooper and other games that I'm trying to keep up with <laughs> on his new gaming channel, Bass of Gaming. Please go and check him out. And check out Dolly Popka's Viridian Flashback. Great stuff, guys, seriously. You guys deserve better. Anywho, to get back to the topic of the Wii, the Wiggler, <laughs> you waggle the Wii remote and that stuff blinks out all the time, so shut up. Anyway, <laughs> so what can I say about the Wii? I've had it more than half my life. I mean, for my 10th birthday, it was a it was a Christmas present. <laughs> my birthday's over near Christmas. Uh, no, my, my it was my birthday present for my tenth birthday, and just a wee bit after, oh, no pun intended, just a wee bit after getting the Wii, we went to go see Spider Man Three the movie, which, contrary to popular belief, I think had an excellent story. I mean, yeah, Venom may have been forced in, but that wasn't Sam Raimi's fault. Don't blame Sam Raimi. Same blame. Blame somebody else, but not him. Because some, sometimes us creators have to break our boundaries. And believe me, I've broken a few boundaries on my animation channel. <laughs> I, I'm not going to lie. I, I made some controversial things on there. 
And by that, I mean lots of filler. <laughs> and beyond that, let's just move right forward because I'm just rambling at this point. I just miss you guys. I miss doing this. I mean, it's almost over, so I gotta cherish it while it lasts, right? I only have two episodes left after this, which episode five... Yeah, episode five is going to be... The recap of all five, the con four of the consoles I own currently. So, to recap, it'll be PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, Wii, and the next episode, Xbox. Original. I don't have a 360, I don't have an Xbox One. So I can't talk about those. And there weren't childhood consoles, they were long after my childhood. <laughs> and the PS3 would have been in this list had I owned it still. But it's not a childhood console, and it's more of like, what did I play after all these? So these are really in order. I mean, heck, I'll put Super Nintendo first because it was the first thing I played, and then the PlayStation, and then the PS2, obviously, and then the Wii, and then the Xbox. Which, that is the legitimate chronological order I played these consoles in. And then the rest of them are all like, after teenhood and adulthood. Otherwise, I would be talking about those. I just don't have a way to show you any physicalities, really. I have a game for the PS3, but that's only because I had to keep it. I couldn't sell it with the console, which is okay. But I mean, if I get a console, I have a game, so good on me. <sighs> well, what are we going to do now? Are we going to talk about the games here? Before I do, I must first disclaim that I rarely play anything on, well, either side really, and I have a PS2 game in here, but it counts as a game I played on the Wii first. Because I played it on the Wii first, I didn't get it on PS2 until last year for a quarter. I, if I had a quarter in my hand, I would show it to you, I promise. But, this thing is a beast? For being underpowered, I guess. It does have a, a GameCube built in, but some games play better than others. It's not like the PlayStation 2 behemoth I told you about last time. I saw you with this series. But really, I mean, it's really good for a GameCube emulator. And I only had two games I owned, which I'll show you at the end of the video when I do my edit. I'll uh, voice over what I'm talking about there because I can't do that now. I can't record me talking about them. I don't have a picture of it in my hand and I don't have the games themselves. But moving on, this pile is first generation that I had from 2007 onward and I had to rebuy and get a different version of it. So I have two more PS2 games here. But this one on top is special because it just came into a collection uh, in, on Christmas. So, surprise, surprise. Right. But, after the hype of Spider-Man 3 dwindled over my head the next day when I got my birthday money, I, got, I bought my first ever game. And that was Spider-Man 3. I originally wanted to get uh, Star Wars Force Unleashed, which honestly I think would have been a better option, to be honest. I'm not going to lie. I mean, this game holds up better on a, on a PS2 than it does on an X, on, the, on a Wii. <laughs> if it was on Xbox, I'd be getting it on there instead. Not going to lie. So, Spider-Man 3 was the first game I ever bought. And I was 10 years old. I mean, I said Spider-Man 2 was the first game I bought, but really, my... Father figure at the time did, not me. And my uncle bought me the PS2 version I originally had. So, shout out to you, Germ Sickly. Yeah, we're calling him that because that was his nickname. From Leashlaw. And, to boot, we had these games to go along with the buying spree, except for the top one here, which came with the console, and this is just a copy I bought last year. For my wife's birthday, Wii Sports, Nintendo Select version. I I really think this is my favorite game of the console. Judge me, okay? I'm okay with that. 
I'm not gonna lie. It's my opinion that this is my favorite game on the console. I mean, I play it the most when I'm playing by myself. I mean, if I had to pick a close second, it'd be this one right here, but there's Wii Play, which I think is a good little mini game, like, distraction for a bit. Like, who, who plays it anymore? I, I play it sometimes, but not really anymore. And this is just a case. I don't have the game. I wish I did, but I don't. But Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess was the bomb for me when I got, when I got it the next day. It was really bomb. I think I played it more than Spider-Man 3, but a lot of the times when I played Spider-Man 3, I, I tried to beat it, and this game was very long. <laughs> I mean, I wish I could have beaten it. And I wish there was a left-handed mode, because I'm a southpaw, everybody, if you didn't know that. <laughs> So I play the Wii like this, because it's more comfortable that way. I mean, I'm getting more ambidextrous now as life goes on, but left-handed more so than right. And this is another game that I played the crap Ola out of Mario Kart Wii, and I was this close to getting all gold medals. I almost beat the entire game. And I like playing as my me which at the time was me. It wasn't George Wiseman or it wasn't Hank Hill or whoever I made over the years, but it was me. It was a me, me. I'm gonna put this game to the side here before I go to that. That's gonna be last because nobody's played it but me and it was on the PS2. Oh, I guess this should have gone in the first generation pile, huh? Guitar Hero 3 was like, another game. I mean, seriously, I played the Wii a lot when I was a kid. I didn't stop playing it until I got the original Xbox, which I stopped playing the PS2. I didn't stop playing the PS1 because there was something like, oh, I'll play that now and then. Like, I, I want to play Final Fantasy, but I can't play that on Xbox. <laughs> See, love PlayStation. I love Xbox. I love Nintendo. I just don't talk about about the war because I don't have a war with them. This had some of the best experiences for me as a kid when I first got it. I mean, it was that love relationship that you usually get with a, a new a new console. I mean, I, I had the early adopter syndrome with all my consoles. Not gonna lie, early adopter syndrome is very real, but in my case, I loved it so much, I didn't play anything else for a long time before I kind of got, oh, okay. I don't want to keep buying games, so I'm gonna try to play the other games I have that are not on this console. So that's where my love for every console came from. Even some PC games. I mean, I'm playing some of my PC games right now as we speak, not literally right now. I'm, I, I play the controller and blah, 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 blah. Besides the point. I will say this right now before I get to these I don't like this controller it sucks if I could play with a different controller for all the other games I would I mean Mario Kart Wii is probably the easiest game for me to play right now that doesn't require this piece of junk I was just praising the Wii and how I had a good time with it growing up but I hate this controller it could have done a lot more than it did, and does, I mean, for crying out loud. <laughs> I mean, I don't think anybody gives this console enough credit. It does have a lot to talk about. Well, not anymore, I mean, now that the servers are down completely, you can't get the classic games on there anymore. If you have them, great, you can still play them, but you can't watch Netflix, you can't watch YouTubes, you can't do any of that stuff. I'm sorry, but it's, it's sad but true. But I guess I can just say this is a goodbye video as well for the Wii. I mean, it lasted a long time. It lasted 11 years. No, 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 no. Why am I saying 11? It's freaking 2019. It lasted 13 whole years before they shut down the servers. So I give it props just for that alone. And... I mean, heck, the motion controls, when they worked, they were great. When they didn't work, then I just let it pass, because I play a lot of games that control like butt. 
I play Shrek for crying out loud. I have no right to talk when it comes to controls, all right? But I still hate the controller. It's uncomfortable for a lefty like me. Now, moving on. Epic Mickey. I'm just now starting to learn how to play this game, and to be fair, it's okay. It's fun. It's fun enough to where I would try again. But it has a left-handed mode, so I'm happy with that alone. Okay, that that's pretty sweet. <clears throat> Excuse me. Press your luck. Whammy! What a good game this can be if you like trivia and if you have people to play it with. It's not really fun to play by yourself. It's so short. My wife could attest to that. Because I don't have much to say about it. It's a game show game. What can you do? Mario Galaxy 2. I will talk about this sometime. I just don't have a lot to talk about. But much like Epic Mickey, it's kind of hard to control. And I don't think there's a left-handed mode. Even though Shigeru Miyamoto is left-handed, they didn't have a left-handed mode, which is saying something, all right? Ah, yes. Dex the sweet, if you're watching this, this is because of you. I had to look for this game. Game of the Year 2008 for the Wii. I promise. It is not... Oh, it is not Wii music, okay? This is a great game. It's a great platformer. And I love 2D platformers that go side-scrolling and has a lot of stuff to collect. It's like, wow. And unlike other Mario games, this game, the coins really do matter. You have to have enough coins to move on to the next levels. And th this is where the Wii Remote works the best. Like, you don't have to have the actual ability to uh, motion control except for, for a few segments which actually work. That's why this game is so good in my opinion. It works. And then when you do get anything, you grab onto something, you shake it really hard. Like your life depends on it. Well, Wario's life depends on it actually, so I'll give it props there because I can use that term figuratively and literal literally. And Wheel of Fortune. This is the game my wife and I love playing together, and we're evenly matched pretty much. I mean, go and check out those videos. I mean, you'll see. I play as George Wiseman, my character that will be explained more in my animation channel, which is, again, in the description. <coughs> Excuse me. I think I should wash this, dust it down with a little bit of Pepsi. Hashtag not scripted. Hashtag not an ad. Hashtag not sponsored. But hashtag go abs. Yeah, they're playing at Pepsi Center today, so I was like, oh, I have to put something in here. Especially if I do have a little bit of a conniption fit with my throat and guy. But how can I wrap this up? I mean, I kind of just breezed on through this, didn't I? It's not really what I expected. But then again, this isn't a scripted show. It is a show, yes, but it's not scripted and it has really genuine feelings about things, and I'm being honest. It's like if I were to react to, say, a video I saw for the first time. How would I actually go about it? Like this. I'll be rambling, I wouldn't, I'd be stuttering sometimes, and Honestly, I'll have a few breaks here and there because I just don't know what to say. <laughs> because there's just times I'm speechless. Like, I just told you my whole entire Wii history in a brief summer, which is rare. I would normally ramble on about like, oh, I did this and that. I beat this game. I did that. I did this and that. In more detail, of course, I'm just rambling because it's an example. Whew. Oh, and, and these little guys... I do plan on doing some more with them later, but just look at the size differences. These are these are new, this is old. But maybe I'll animate uh, Qui-Gon Jin swinging his lightsaber around a little bit. You never know. I like stop motion. But these guys aside, oh that guy aside, I really do look forward to playing some Kingdom Hearts games. I mean, I have probably one of the 
worst ones to a lot of people's memories, but to be honest, I've only played the first one, that was years ago, and I don't know when I'll get a chance to play it. But this one is like a recap game. It's a uh, chain of memories or re chain of memories. I don't know. I I'll give it a shot again. It's just, I don't know. It's just a learning curve and trying to know the story beforehand is kind of rough. But in the recaps, there will be a lot more detail, a lot more, a lot more video footage to use and talk into and like a lot of games and that leads on to my next segue i do plan on doing a video on childhood games which will be a longer series in the consoles because really i only ever played four game consoles in my lifetime that were in childhood up to now i don't own an nes that doesn't count because i never really played it that much anyway I did play it, we did own it, but I just don't have one, and I don't have a way to talk about it. Atari 2600, I had one, never really played it, until I played the little collections of them. That's about the only time I've ever played it. And last, but certainly not least, because we did own a GameCube, but I don't have it. That's going to be the thing. It, I don't have it. I can't show you. I can't talk about it because I never really used it anyway. And besides, so whatever game I had on the GameCube, I played on this. So, to each their own, I guess. And Sega Dreamcast would have a video at some point, but I only owned it briefly and only had one game in NHL 2K. But I'm trying to look really quick to see if I'm missing anything. To be honest, the, the Childhood Games is not going to be a Let's Play series. It's just going to be me playing the game and talking over it, telling my story. So, and then it'll lead on to like what, I'm, what I've been playing lately. So, current games I'm playing right now as we speak. So, well, I don't know. I, I don't know. A farewell, I guess. May the force be with you. <laughs> God bless and happy gaming and may the power of the keyblade or whatever blade this is from whoever this is <laughs> be with you always and forever. And would you like to see a battle between this guy and Qui-Gon Jinn in an animation form, of course. Man, his left hand is so broken. <laughs> I'm going to have to put it in his right hand. I think it's supposed to go in his right hand. I could be wrong, I'm not sure, but most game characters are right-handed. I want to see more lefties, please. <clears throat> there. Would you like to see a battle? An action figure battle? Because I don't really see any more of those on YouTube, so I, I'd like to make one that I could watch and enjoy. The ones that are on YouTube, they're kind of boring. Not gonna lie, there's some good ones out there, but I can't find them. <laughs> and they're older ones, so that's another ramble. We'll 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 talk about that more some other time. But for now, drink your Pepsi, play the Wii, play the Xbox, play the PS2, play the PS1, play the PS3, PS4, Xbox One, 360, play the PC, just play your games, and try to have fun with them. That's what they're meant for, right? They're not meant for wars. They're not meant, they're not meant for that, like seriously. And don't go to Wendy's with McDonald's. That is a life lesson you must learn now. Oh yeah, Pepsi good. And that does it. What a video, I hope. And if you did enjoy it, Please do me a favor and like, comment, subscribe, and share if you want to. You don't have to, but also check out the Dolly Popka. Check out Bass of Gaming. And please give Dex a Sweep some love. He really needs it right now. And God bless you all. And great night, good morning, good afternoon. 
And sayonara. Okay, before we move on, I just want to say these are the GameCube games I played. Dave Mira Freestyle BMX 2. Really fun game. And then we have Donkey Konga 2. Literally, these are the only ones I ever owned, so judge me. Hey everyone, if you like this video, please give a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe, please. And uh, please be nice to all those commenting, and I don't want to see any fighting out there. Come on now. God bless, and have a good night. Goodbye.